Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. So what did you think of that little time-lapse video? You can just give me a thumbs up right now if you liked it. That's up to you, of course. But personally, I found it, like, mesmerizing. I watched it several times through myself. As a matter of fact, I thought if anybody else thinks it's as mesmerizing as I did... They might just want to link just to that time-lapse video to share with friends or that kind of thing. I think it's actually probably a good advertisement for Space Engineers as a game. So there is a link down in the description just to that time-lapse alone. And I'll even tell you what, if you share that out, if you, if you share that link out and somebody decides to get space engineers because of your sharing that video out and i mean like share it just tell your friends about it you know whatever if one of them says okay i want to play this game the first five people to actually you know tell me that in the video feedback of the epic tech discord server also a link down in the description to that if you haven't joined it already will get a free copy of space engineers fair enough because I love Space Engineers, I want everybody to play it, or at least everybody that's interested. It's not a game for everybody, but if people are interested, I want them to be able to play it. And so, share it out. If someone decides they want to play Space Engineers because of that video, and they don't have it, tell me the story in the video feedback channel on my Discord server. And if you're one of the first five people to do that, free copy of the game that you can give to your friend. Cool? Awesome. What do you say we have some fun today, huh? Let's do it. First of all, I noticed that there is a strong unknown signal. Its last known location is 33 kilometers away. I have never actually been to a strong signal. And there's only six minutes to get to that. I'm not even sure if it's possible to get there in six minutes. I saw it while I was actually taking that thing apart, and... Well, let's give it a try. I don't even know what they are. Like, what, what is a strong unknown signal? Let's see if we can find out. So I'm realizing, I should have done the math. At 100 meters a second, that means that I can go... 6,000 meters in a minute, which is 6 kilometers. So if it takes a minute to go 6 kilometers, in 3 minutes I can go 18 kilometers. Not 20. Because it says T minus 3 minutes, and I'm not sure if that's 3 plus minutes. So is that like 3 and a half minutes? Something like that? I might still be able to make... Uh, see, it just switched to 2. So even if it, that was the 3 meter mark... 18. Oh, man. I'm going to get there with seconds to spare. I am going to also try to just use all the brakes. I'm going to come in at full speed. Kill the thrusters. Turn on the brakes. Oh, you got to admit, that was pretty dang good. Oh, no! Dang it! Well, that was lame. Well. <sighs> yep, yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, the next time we see a strong signal... I've still never seen a strong signal. It sucks. And we need to discuss what our future plans are. Also, there is something 46 kilometers that way. What is that? And drop? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I need to get some more airspeed because I'm going to hit the mountain. Don't want to hit the mountain. Okay. Okay, so what does this thing say? It says Andromeda Epic Tech Survival Cruiser need help being surrounded. Uh oh. Well, guys. Let's hope it's not one of those surrounded and you need me in there in seconds kind of things, because I can't get there in seconds. You know, sometimes I forget to record. I'll stop recording because it's a boring long flight scene, and, and then I'll forget to start recording. 
And uh, I did that on this occasion. And let me tell you what I what you missed. First of all, I came in for a landing over at the airport there. And I came down a little bit hard on the front half of the cursor. And, well... This is what happened. It's okay. We're not planning on doing anything with it anyway. And I only really need the back wheels. You know? I don't need the front wheels. Who needs front wheels? Come on. Silly. Besides, now we have nice, easy access to uh, the interior. You know? <laughs> anyway. The other thing that happened is I went on this whole thing. I was talking about how great you guys' comments were and how they really got me thinking about all the different opportunities I have and, and the fact that Mining Corp, they seem to be at least a somewhat legitimate business on the surface, which means that um, they probably have the authorities in their pocket already. So going to the proper authorities probably isn't going to help much. Because the proper authorities are either going to say, well, what they're doing is legal, or they're just going to, you know, take their bribe money and walk away. But I came up with this great idea. Let me, let me restate that. I came up with this idea where what if I build a large grinding flying machine, something that's a little less unwieldy than the angry snake and maybe has even more grinders, maybe lots and lots of grinders. And we fly around and we find all of the destruction and damage that G-Corp has done. And we take all the parts. And then we'll set up caches around. And we'll let the rebels know where these caches are. But we won't let Mining Corp know. Yeah, I basically become a gun runner. Yeah, let's just let's just get down to brass tacks there. That's what I'm that's what I am. But I'm okay with this. We're gonna do some salvaging and we're gonna do some engineering and we're gonna have some fun. So, the first thing I need to do is start building a replacement for the cursor. It's going to be bigger, and it's going to have a lot of grinders. And we might still use the Angry Snake, at least the structure of it. I've gotten pretty good at driving that thing. And we could replace the grinders with welders to help us weld everything up. I need to clean up this area a little bit. And, well... Some of this stuff near the ground is a little hard to do with the snake. Let's connect it to the snake. And then we'll actually have a powered grid to work with. I have no steel plates. Are you kidding? Oh, right. I just put them away. Okay. So in my head... I've got a huge bank of grinders, like maybe like four by four, five by five, something like that. Maybe even put grinders every other block in kind of a checkerboard pattern. And let's let's play with that idea and see what that looks like. So if I start with a conveyor junction there, and then I put in A grinder there, and there, and there. When I'm grinding, it's going to be unlikely that anything is going to be able to get into this space. Right? And I'm going to be able to move this thing around because it's going to be on thrusters too. So, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's put out, put some more conveyor junctions here, here. Now, what if on the outer edge of this, we had kind of some protective armor, but a tight slope kind of thing. So, 
heavy armor slope base. Because I noticed with when I was working with the snake, there we go, a lot of times it would kind of get jammed up. And I think this might help keep that from happening. So I need to be able to land, but I also need to be able to grind things from the sky without anything getting in the way. So maybe what we need is either for this to be on pistons so that we can lower it down, or we need wheels or something like that on rotors or pistons so that we can lower them to the ground when we're not grinding things. Okay, I have an idea. We're going to do these half armor blocks. And the reason I want to do half armor blocks is because there's going to be times where I'm going to want to walk in here and fix these guys up. Because I think these take damage occasionally. I didn't even check to see if I had taken any damage. I know I smacked them into things here and there, but uh, it didn't really... Oh, there we go. See, it? yeah, this one right here is at 80%. Is that really the only one that I damaged? But they do occasionally take damage, so I want to be able to come in and fix these up from the inside. So this is going to be kind of a center bay of sorts. We're going to do a single conveyor tube up. And then on top of that, we're going to put a large cargo container. No. I know, I'm changing my mind. Okay. We're going to put these small ones here. And then I want a series of small card containers because... Well, for a few different reasons. One is the whole keeping all your eggs in one basket thing. I don't want to hit something and lose a large cargo container and lose everything I've gathered. I want a bridge and I'm thinking I want it to kind of raise up into the bridge. So it's gonna go like this. And then the bridge is going to be up here. The whole ship is going to be above those, except for a couple of landing gear on the outsides that I can lower down and lock into place. But normally it'll be grinders underneath, and I'll be able to fly over something, settle down on top of it, and just grind away. With the, those awesome grinder sounds that I just made. And I'm thinking this could be a really good test for the snake as a welder. Let's go ahead and, you know, first of all, this is bugging me. The rest being floating around, not as much, but for some reason a connector floating, that was driving me nuts. You know what, I'm going to get this closer to the ground. Oh, that's right. I need to rotate this one this way so that it can let oxygen into the cockpit there. Otherwise, I can't breathe. All right, welders on. And look at that. Like a champ. Okay, this is not going to have enough arm length the way it is. But anyway, we, we might use that. Let's keep on prototyping here. Just temporarily, we're going to do this. And is that a conveyor... That's a conveyor junction. Perfect. Do that. 
Beautiful. Oh, right. So that connects to there, which connects to there, which connects to there. Need some small steel tube. But at least I can grab parts out of here now. So this is what I'm going to use to fly. And I want this whole area to be pressurized. All of this. I'll probably put in some windows and things. Just to make it look nice. Lifted bridge. Grinders. We need thrusters. So we're going to go and kind of do some pylons out. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, huh? It, it's... A horrible design if I'm going to get in combat, but I'm planning to not get in combat. I like that look. So I'm going to need a total of 2,000 plus motors. Like 2,500 motors. Let's see how many we have. We have 774 in here. And about 1,600 in here. We're going to need a lot more motors, but there are other places to get motors. Like that wreck over there. I'm betting I could get away with just two large aerodynamic thrusters on the sides for hovering, you know? And one on the back pointing forward, and the rest just gigantic wings. That seems reasonable, right? I like the idea. And I'm going to try and make this thing look cool, too. <laughs> I always say that, and then it just doesn't. But, hey, I'm going to give it a try. And we're going to test this thing out. Like, when it's time to test this thing out, we're going to test it out by grinding down the cursor. Okay, so this is a good start. I'm realizing though, there is another, there's a few more things I need. I need to have, you know, the basic necessities of life. I'm going to need power. And where am I going to put those things? So, probably in the back. Thinking that we're going to have a section in the back here. We need to be careful that we don't end up embedding in the ground. No, we're not. Okay. Because we are eventually going to have to disconnect this. Turn it into an actual ship, you know? Because as far as the game's concerned, it's currently a base. And actually, back here is where we could act put our uh, landing gear, you know? Oh, you know what I just thought of? I could make this floor down here more of a maintenance floor. And then the living floor would actually be up where, you know, where the cockpit is. Or even floor above? No. No, no. Actually, <laughs> it's a crazy idea. What if I were to take some nice big windows as the ceiling to that. Let's see, do we have everything necessary? Doesn't want to connect, but I understand that. Let's remove this. Can I get away with like that? There we go. Okay, so now I can walk down through here. I can do my welding as necessary. But then I would be able to actually have a floor up here. I could look down below if I wanted to. Sure, why not? Can I... I'm about to replace all of these, which is kind of unfortunate, but not that big a deal. 
think I want that the other way around, though. I want to be able to look up with ease. But normally I don't want to look down. Is this acceptable? I think it is. And then since that's more of a maintenance area, we'll replace these with full-size blocks. So that's not a full-size block. That's a full-size block. I'm doing goofy things again. Now I grab some more parts for another window and Is that right? Yeah. There. So I can even light this from up above. So now up here, I'm going to need to do some stuff. And I'm thinking, should I make this two floors tall and then put a bunch of the mechanical equipment on the top? Because I'm definitely going to need a, an O2 generator. So And I'm going to want an assembler as well. So let's put an O2 generator there. And... An assembler here, right? No, actually, why don't I put an assembler here? They kind of match, you know what I mean? And then maybe we'll do two nuclear reactors. And apparently I am short computers, motors, and reactor components, so... Oh. Health critical. Why are my dampeners all of a sudden off? That doesn't make any sense. Fine. Let's do this. And I have one health. I better be careful. Let's go uh, maybe heal up a bit. I need five large steel too. That's exactly what I could put in my inventory. Hey, there we go. One functioning, I think functioning. Oh, no, this is still counted as a station, so it's not gonna actually do anything, but yeah, we actually have a theoretically functioning thruster. And I'm realizing oops, that if I want to make that a little stronger, I know an easy way to do that. Well, somewhat easy, I guess. If I put, there we go, I'm going to put a heavy armor slope there. There. That looks pretty cool, huh? And now there's two completely separate things that are holding that together. And it even looks kind of neat. Alright, well, I think that's a good start. We've got more work to do next time. I'm not going to be able to finish it all in one episode. This is going to be a big project. And I think we're going to need an entire episode even just to get close to finishing this up. Because I want this to basically be a replacement for the cursor. This is going to be my mobile base, but with grinders on the bottom. And we're probably going to add a couple of other things that I have in mind. I'm kind of thinking about some fun ways to drop off these caches of equipment for the rebels. 
So a somewhat automated way to create a cargo box and then deliver it, maybe by parachute or by drone, something like that, to wherever the rebels might need it. I don't know. Seems like fun. We'll f come up with some interesting ideas along the way, and I want to hear your ideas because, as you know, I really enjoy reading your comments. So I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I hope you're okay with that. If you're not, I'm sincerely sorry. But either way, I'll see you next time on Epic Tech.